Hi, and welcome to Product Profile. In this mini-series, we'll be showcasing you exactly how to use the SonicU Sound System software by Dynacord. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to add a generic speaker preset into the powerful SonicU software. Now it's over to Arthur, who will be guiding you through the process. Hello, and welcome to this SonicU tutorial on how to load a generic speaker setting and the speaker settings that are available to you from the library. So if you go to the left-hand side of the window under the catalog section, you'll see all the devices that you can add to this uh, project file. If you go to speaker, click on that one, this opens up all the available presets that are available to you. I have loaded in uh, the databases from various manufacturers onto my SonicQ already in this instance. Um, when you load SonicQ for the first time, you will have Electrovoice, Dynacord, and a generic um, speaker setting folder. If you go into the generic, and then this opens up a new window of options uh, for different types of generic speakers that you might want to add to your project file. Uh, Biamp, dual subwoofer, passive, quad amp, single subwoofer, or a uh, three-way triamp box. For this purpose, we'll just look at the passive option. So if you drag one speaker across and then go to the connect and settings tab at the top, then click on the speaker. This opens up an upload tool, uh, which will take you to the file location where you can uh, download uh, a host of different options for your preset. Click on this, this will open the window, and then you see already these are predefined speaker settings that we have enabled for you to use for various different applications. So 70 volt, uh, full range with different high pass uh, filters, different wattages. Uh, this is RMS wattages of the speaker that you want to use. Um, high pass 50, uh, linear speaker settings, different uh, limiters again, and then a host of subwoofers, 80 hertz, 100 hertz, 120 hertz. Um, and then we have generic top uh, speaker settings again with predefined RMS speaker limiters. So just for this application, I will pick one at random. I'll just put in a full range with a high pass at 35 with a limiter of 300 watts. So now that speaker setting is on that speaker block. Um, all I need to do now is go to Design, back to Catalog, add a Dynacord amplifier. In this example, I'll use a C1300. Go to Connect and Settings again, and then select the channel you want to connect to the speaker you want. Once you've completed your project file, then simply go Online and hit the Writing button. That will then send that speaker preset to the amplifier and that will be stored in that amplifier ready for use. Thank you very much. And that just about covers it. If you liked the video, make sure to leave us a comment and subscribe for more product demos. We'll see you in the next one.